Has this happened to you? <sighs> this book finally got delivered. You don't want to be like this absolute moron. Wait, what? Now don't just change the scene, what did he just call Instead, you should try organic price books. With fast shipping and packaging that the juggernaut couldn't break into, you can ensure that your books arrive in pristine condition. There's a great range of books from all publishers and it's growing every week. For first time buyers, use code WOOFWOOF for $2 off your first order. Organic price books, affiliate link in the description, where the only thing that has a chance of getting damaged is your own spine. Woof woof! Hey guys, it's me Marcus aka The Mad Dog and we're back with another video. This one's going to be a bit of a two-in-one video because just the other day I received a very whammy box from our new sponsor Organic Price Books. I'm very grateful to JP and everybody over there for the opportunity and I'm hoping that I represent your website well. But at the same time I want to make sure that all you dogs and dog pound get the real honest opinion of what I think about them. Often I get asked by people in the UK and the EU if it's worth buying books over from America and getting them shipped across here. But first let's do the bit that you're probably all interested in and see exactly what is in this whammy box. So here's the box, as you can see it is massive and yes I am unfortunately wearing my pyjamas still, I'm in lockdown, what more do you want from me? And as you can also see I can't afford a table so please make sure you support the channel where you can. Okay so the first thing that we can see is a box within a box so okay almost knocked over my camera just trying to get this one out so here we go big diamond box. So we've got two more boxes, say what you want but you get your money's worth on boxes alone. And as you can see here, I'm not sure if the camera's going to get that, but there's bubble wrap inside the bubble wrap. So I think there's about three books in here, and it's bubble wrapped and then bubble wrapped individually. So the first book that you got for me that I was grateful enough that you managed to find them is the Usagi Ujimbo Volume 1. Now this is the limited edition as you can see here, so it is signed and numbered. But as you can see here, there's no damage to it, it's been packaged very well. And the next book that I got, it's another Usagi Ujimbo Limited Edition Volume 1. Now the reason why I've got two, you can see my face now the reason why I've got two don't hate me for this is because one of these is for comic bound's birthdays and I wanted to get him something really special so I got him this but because he knows that I've got him this I've also got him something a little special so make sure you subscribe to his channel hopefully he shows it but I hope he's happy with that as well and like I said JP thank you the next one is Berserk Deluxe Edition Volume 7. Now you're probably wondering, Marcus, why have you got this? Because you repeatedly said that you're not a manga guy. Ow. And it's going to tie into one of the points that I'm going to say when I get into the pros and cons of ordering internationally. So look forward to that one. But just look how much packaging there is there. If you're ordering internationally, you're probably going to get your monies back already just in bubble wrap alone. Now, what I'm going to do is take the big box out of the even bigger box. If it sounds like everything's falling over and the world's falling apart, because it is, it's a tiny room. Okay, so you can't see me, but admittedly, it's not a face that you probably want to see too much of. These diamond boxes, genuinely, I feel like I could throw them off a building and they'd probably survive. I'm not going to. One that I'm very excited for. Yes, of course, it is the X-Men by Chris Claremont and Jim Lee, Volume 2. Now, this is genuinely immaculate. I'm looking, I've got that eagle view on. There is literally nothing wrong with this. That is amazing. I could have ordered this from Amazon and A, it probably wouldn't have got delivered and B, it wouldn't have been in this good condition so that is phenomenal I'm really impressed so far the second book that he was kind enough to send me for free was the Dr. Afro Omnibus now you know that this was one of my most anticipated omnibuses of this year I was really glad that he managed to get this across to me he even had both covers at the time when I asked him about it but yeah he does a good range of DM variants as well if you're looking for any but yeah again look there is not a single imperfection on this that is phenomenal and then we have got the one that i know a lot of people are still struggling to find but it is the x-men inferno omnibus this is a whammy boy i am so glad that i've got this one i know that some people are struggling to get it hopefully there will be more that come across but i'm just having a look here there's no imperfections with this so in case it wasn't completely evident that's the first time that i've ever done an unboxing so if it was a bit rusty just allow it for this one. But let's get into the part of the video that I'm probably best at, which is talking non-stop and acting like people are actually gonna listen. Because like I said, obviously us here in the UK and everybody else over in the EU, it is getting a bit more difficult to see exactly where we can get books from. So I think buying books from America and shipping them across to here is becoming a more valid option for us guys. Organic price books, even though yes, I am sponsored to them, I'm not gonna sell you guys something that I don't think would be worth your time. So I thought I'd look at this with a pragmatic and unbiased approach and look at the four main topics 
topics that people often ask me when they ask about buying internationally. They are the cost, postage, delivery times, and also the stock levels. If you're from America, yeah, I'd pretty much recommend them probably over anybody else. What we're gonna do for the first topic is look at some of the prices for books that are on organic price books already and compare them to some of the UK and maybe EU websites. So what I'm gonna do, I've clicked on the final order cutoff, which you have to get in before the 18th of April. Now, the reason why you'll want to do this is because you get more of a discount. So you'll see here that you're saving 40% instead of that standard 36 that's normally offered. Let's just add a few books here. So first up, we're gonna add this beautiful DM variant for the Charles Soul Darth Vader omnibus that's due out later this year, just before my birthday in case anybody wants to treat me. But as you can see here, it is $60. So what I'm just gonna do is currency convert this for you. So $60 now becomes £43.53. So there's already quite a good saving there. But obviously, like I said, if you're gonna order books from America, what you want to do is order more than one so that you can save on your shipping. If you were to just order the one, admittedly, I think shipping is gonna dick you over a little bit. So let's just have a look at another one here. So we've got this beautiful Darth Maul variant, which I definitely need to pick up, which is going for $75 because it's before the final order cutoff. So 75 becomes 54.42. Obviously, that doesn't matter if it's all in your basket. So as you can see here, the total that we've got here is $135. So in total, if you were to buy those two books, you know, not factoring in postage or anything like that, those two would cost you just under £100. Because obviously shipping is dependent on where you live, what kind of shipping option you got. I'm just not going to factor that in at the moment. But in the same sense, I'm not going to factor in shipping from Forbidden Planet either. But let's just have a look at those two books. I've already added them to my basket. So as you can see here, this book, the um, beautiful Darth Vader variant, is £57.62. And the Darth Maul variant is £72.11. So already there's quite a steep increase there. And considering that the total cost of that car was $135, which became £97.95, if you were to get it off Forbidden Planet, your total for the two books would be £129.73. So there's already quite a steep increase in there. So if you can find a way to put in enough books so that the price of postage doesn't really offset the saving that you'd get, you can definitely make some easy savings just by going to organic price books. And also, and I'm not just trying to bash Forbidden Planet here because they have helped me out with some pre-orders that I thought I wasn't going to get in the past, but organic price books does have a reward scheme. So for every book that you get, you are getting points towards money off your next purchases. So you get a little bit of an incentive just for like showing some loyalty there, which I do think adds up quite well over time. But I know what you're thinking, Mad Dog, you're probably just being unfair and you're just looking at all these ones with the final order cutoff that gets you an extra $5 off. Well, let's have a look at some of the books that are just at like a standard pre-order price of 36% off. This Roger Stern cover, let's get that because that's quite beautiful. $80 all of a sudden becomes £58.5. This Wolverine cover is beautiful. $65, what does that become? Let's have a look. $65 becomes £47.16. And let's just add another one so that our shipping costs can hopefully be offset quite a bit. Let's get the beautiful Jessica Jones DM variant cover. Again, it's $65, so I'm not going to insult your intelligence and go back to the same page where I show you what that costs in pounds. Look here, $200. $210 is the total cost of your shopping cart there. So $210 all of a sudden becomes £152.37. So to speed this up a bit for you guys, I've just put all of them books in my basket and the total cost for the books alone would be £187.35. Obviously, if you're in the UK, the shipping is a little bit cheaper, but the total cost of the books, especially for people in the EU, I know that since Brexit, it's been difficult to get books sent to you. But for you guys, I think something like organic price books, because as you can see here, the total cost of the books came out to £152.37. £37, which is £35 less than the same three books from Forbidden Planet. So there is definitely some incentives there if you are in the UK or the EU to have a look at stuff like organic price books. And I know obviously because he's early doors, he's only just opened, he is looking at different shipping methods that he can hopefully offer in future. So it is something worthwhile, worth checking on. Just have a look, add a few books to your shopping cart, see if there's anything that you can find that might be able to get that postage cost down for you guys. And I think there's the opportunity there to make major savings over just ordering something here in the UK. Again, like I said, I'm not trying to bash Forbidden Planet at all. They are a great company, very respectable. But if we're looking for new options to hopefully help us as collectors save even more money, I think this is something valuable that we should be checking out moving forward. Anyway, I'm going to pass it back over to myself. Thanks, Marcus. You definitely didn't film that at a completely different time. Next up's the postage, which is probably the main barrier that's stopping people from ordering overseas. Now, firstly, as we've seen with organic price books, the amount of packaging material that you're getting in there, it's not as if your postage is going completely to waste. As well, the way I look at it is, even if you're paying for postage because it's coming from a company that you can rationalise is overseas, so of course postage is going to cost more, and it's someone that you trust and you know that your books are going to come undamaged, that's worth more than just getting free shipping from Amazon, but knowing that you're going to need to send it back about three or four times before you actually get a decent copy. I'm not here to just bash Amazon as well.
while there are some great companies in the UK and the EU like Read Comics, Forbidden Planet and Cheap Comics, and Amazon doesn't really see omnibuses and hardcovers as some kind of collector's item. To them it is just a book and if you order it at 11.59 and you're still expecting it to get there by 1pm the next day, of course there might be some kind of, you know, lack of quality control that goes into that. However, if you do want your books to come in tip top condition, then it might be worth going to a company that actually realises the value of these books. The way I see it, the amount that you pay in postage is you paying for peace of mind. And it's that lack of hassle. If you know that you can get one package that's going to come and you're not going to need to send three or four things back and you're going to have to find a time to package that up and also go to your local drop off point and also have to engage in some kind of weird small talk with the person behind the counter because it's the fourth time that you've gone there that week because of the fact that you've had to send this back three or four times because you knew that this situation was going to happen. I think this is something that's going to be personal to the individual on where exactly you prioritise the condition of a book. If you want it to come without a scratch then paying for shipping will actually be worth it to you. As well this is something that a lot of people don't factor in because what they'll often do is they'll put one book in their basket to gauge what the shipping would be but if you put two or three or maybe even a couple more that shipping cost will overall go down per book. And then when you look at the difference in price that we just did which admittedly I haven't done just yet because of the way that filming's going it's very realistic that you could be in a situation where you end up paying less than if you were buying it from the UK or the EU. Next up's the delivery times which is something that I do get asked about occasionally. However for me I do feel like it's a bit of a moot point because honestly with collected editions what is that need to have it on day one desire? Even when I say in pull lists like oh I need to get this on day one it doesn't mean like I actually need it it just means that I don't really want to sit around and wait in case it possibly goes out of stock. But this is collected editions and admittedly anything that can be spoiled in these books probably did about five years ago and I'm not sure if there was any other options but this time around organic price books used UPS and it got dispatched on I think it was the fourth of this month and it got delivered to me by the 9th which is quicker than some of the packages that I've had sent via Royal Mail. And the last concern that we're going to touch on is both pre-ordering and also stock levels because this is the one aspect where I think organic priced books beat every single one else in the competition no matter what country they're from. What I really like about them is that the stock levels are honest because people have even had issues within stock trades whereby they will buy a book on the day that it comes out because that's the only way that you can get them and they still say that they don't have it in stock like you are literally called in stock trades. That's like me being called the mad dog but being calm all the time. But if you can order it on the website he can either place the order for you like he's actually able to fulfill that with diamond or he's actually got it in stock. From what I've seen there's none of this order it and we'll notify you if and when we can get it. It is very upfront in what they've got there. So at the minute they might not have some of those bigger titles that you're looking for the backlog of Marvel or DC books but the books that they've got on their website they can ship out to you. As well another factor that I think every collector should be considering from now one is pre-ordering. There has been nothing but struggle this past year and it seems like it's only going to get worse with Marvel separating from Diamond. But Organic Price Books operates in a similar way to what Read Comics does when it comes to pre-ordering. But to make that comparison I think I need to explain exactly how the pre-ordering process works. So when the solicitation comes up that's for websites and comic book shops to be able to see exactly what they can order and then there's something called the final order cutoff. What this means is that except for the odd circumstance such as limited editions like you saw you Jimbo, if you put your order in before that date then those copies are there, they're gonna come to you. Anything after that Diamond or Lunar or whatever company it is that's dishing out the books, they will send you those if they do have available stock of them. So pretty much for any books, there are three main stages. So there's the first part before the final order cutoff, there's after the final order cutoff but before it's actually been released, and then there's a the release date. If it's a book that you don't want to miss out on, you need to make sure that you are pre-ordering before that final order cutoff. An organic price books offers you an extra 5% discount if you pre-order before the final order cutoff which is something similar to what Read Comics does. I think this is a great incentive and it's something that we should be utilising. I know that Discount Comic Book Service also does something similar, but I've never actually brought from them. And let's be honest, there's still people in the UK that didn't get a chance to get their hands on an Excalibur omnibus, despite the fact that Amazon had it up for pre-order for a very good price for a long amount of time. And the way I see it is that a lot of people are expecting books to have a 40% off or a 45% off, but then what happens is they don't get that, the book's got no stock anywhere, and then you end up paying even cover price or over cover price for that book anyway but I am getting to that phase where I'm thinking of just pre-ordering doing it well in advance paying for it when I pre-order it which is something that organic price books do and then just getting like a monthly box of all the books that I pre-ordered six months earlier and I didn't even have to pay for them in that month so yeah even though you might be able to get cheaper prices if you go somewhere like Amazon or if you're fortunate enough to find it on books etc there isn't that guessing game you don't have to potentially miss out on books that you really want that's kind of the mindset where I'm at and I've spoken with JP personally and he has ambitions to get organic price books 
open and running in both the UK and the EU in a couple years time. So I think this is genuinely a great business that we do need to get behind and we do need to support. As well, just to help you out a little bit, if you use code woof woof at the checkout, you get $2 off your first order. And as well, there is an affiliate link in the description down below. Anytime that you go to Organic Price Books, if you could just click on that first, it does help the channel out. And eventually maybe I can buy a table so that I can do these unboxings on. So yeah, I've tried to be as unbiased as I can in this video. Admittedly, there probably is always going to be a little bit of bias because of how cool JP is. I always like businesses that have an actual face to them when you know the person, so you know who you're buying off. I think at the minute, the only company that's got similar benefits is Read Comics. But when I think about how helpful JP's just been as a person, I really hope that this business does take off. And I do hope that a few years from now, I'm taking a tour of the Organic Price Books warehouse that's here in the UK. We can make that happen if we get behind this website and we support it and we show that there is that demand over here in the UK. So like I said at the minute, just check them out because I know at the time of filming this, they had books like The Uncanny X-Men Volume 4, Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2. They also had The Incredible Hulk Volume 2, which I know was one that people were struggling to get. So I'm not telling you to buy anything. I'm just saying check out the website, see what they're about, and you might end up falling in love with them just like I did. But I want to know, where are you buying your comics from at the minute? Are you staying within your own country or are you looking across the Atlantic as well? I have got another Where to Start plan that's coming out this week and I'm also doing a review of Marvels. This was just a special video because of the fact that I was blown away by the generosity of JP and I did want to do something to try and help his website if I can. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you didn't like this video, why did you get this far? Subscribe if you're new here and click that bell notification so that you never miss a video. And share this video where you can in case more people are struggling to see where exactly they can buy the books from lately. Check out my links in the description down below. There's also a tip jar if this video did help you and you want to support the channel. But until next time, just make sure that you stay safe, stay reading the best books that you can find, and stay mad all you dogs. Woof woof! See you at the next video.